Hi guys, welcome back to Run Cool Reptiles. My name is Hector. Uh, today I'm making kind of like a public announcement video for everyone. Um, this, so this is regarding my first clutch. It's I, again, I'm super excited for it. Everyone is starting to eat well. Um, everybody at least has three meals in them, so I'm super excited for it. However, today, well, really, this the beginning of this conversation really began four days ago when my probe kit finally came in makes a racket now you use a probe kit to properly sex ball pythons most people are able to pop basically popping the hemipenes out if you've been along if you if you're around the ball python community you know what popping hemipenes are um basically long story short i've sexed once by myself i was suspect of of the results i brought them to another person and i was suspect of their technique and so I thought to myself, sure to be sure, I should um, buy myself a probe kit and probe. Because if you probe, there's really no, um, it really does tell you. There's no and if or buts about it. And I probed. So I was told by the person that popped the first time, um, a lot of my animals were males. Like uh, the spot nose Mojaves, both of them, the pasta, uh, the pa Pastave spot nose clowns, that was male. The spot nose, that was male. Um, so I was pretty bummed out about it. However, I accepted it. That's the odds. Um, they did say my Mojave clown and the pastel leopard clown were females. So I was like, okay, at least they get two females. However, I was suspect of their technique because I saw he was having a little trouble popping right if you if you're pretty good with the technique it takes all of two seconds however i saw that this guy was taking a little too long with it so i said buy the probe kit i bought it and it finally came in now i probed the snakes once when the probe kit came in did some butt stuff you know some vaseline and turns out that i only have two males um the Mojave clown and the pastel clown and I thought to myself well this is suspect now right so I called the same place and they told me that the owner of the place was actually gonna be is actually in the neighborhood and the neighbor uh, the owner actually has tons of experience both popping and probing he's done both he's a veteran he was around with Mojave's were selling for like five thousand dollars and all that and he breeds his own stuff and he sexes his own stuff. So I figured that this was the guy to go to. And so I brought my snakes in again. And yeah, this guy took like two minutes to sex everything. He was pretty damn fast. Uh, he popped everything and he told me that, uh, that the only two males I had was the Mojave clown and the pastel clown. Very different. And everything else was female. And I told him, well, can you at least probe everything? To make sure and he you know sure sure as hell went and probed everything and the mojave and the pastel clown were probed to be male and everything else was probed to be female uh, when you probe a male ball python the the probe goes in quite a bit more and uh, then a female ball python um and he told me that the, since I brought the ball pythons in so young, because I do remember, I think they were only around two to three weeks when I brought in the ball pythons, um, that the person there didn't have very much experience since they were so small. And he might have seen a hemipene that wasn't really there. There might have been some redness that he interpreted as a hemipene. And so I went, uh, so I, you know, now I have to explain to you guys. And everywhere else where I posted these guys that the ball pythons were not male they're females now if it was a change from a male to uh, a female to a male I would understand that because you don't see a hemipene until you do and then now you know that's a male for sure a change from a male to a female is very different because then how are you gonna explain a way that you never saw a hemipene 
However, I never saw a Hemi peen. The only Hemi peen I did see, he, uh, I did see the first time around was the pastel clown. The second time when the owner was there, I actually saw him pop both the male, uh, both the Mojave clown and the pastel clown. So now I, I'm not sure what the hell to do. So I thought the best thing to do was probably um, show you guys me probing all of that first clutch to kind of show you guys the probing results and kind of, you know, explain the situation to you guys. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them down below, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys at the end. The audio for the probing was corrupted. Um, I will probably voice over uh, some stuff if need be. All right, so here I'm trying to get the probe underneath the uh, scale over the cloaca. This is the Mojave Clown male. This is going to be the image I use for the rest of the video. As you can see there, it actually went in pretty deep. This is the pastel clown. This is the second male. I wanted to do the males first, simply to um, at least show you guys the difference in uh, penetration the probe can get with males compared to females. And see, I am not forcing the probe in too much and I'm just slowly rotating in. Um, and see, it, it went in pretty deep. And this is the spot nose, and that's the first female. You can really tell that there's a difference. Overlap the image of the Mojave there, but you can really tell. This is the Mojave pastel spot nose clown. Just kind of showing it off really nice. So I took this one off screen, but as you can see, again, probably maybe like a fourth of the length of the Mojave. Yeah. Now this is the first spot nose Mojave clown. This is the one with the, both of them have really bad attitudes, but both of them pretty much hate everything. But they ate pretty well. My probing technique is still not pretty, not that good, <laughs> but I'm trying. And yeah, though that one in, went in a little farther than uh, the spot nose compared to the Mojave yeah, no, didn't go in very deep at all. Now, this here is the second Mojave uh, Spot Nose Clown. This one's a little more reduced, but equally nice. And I'm, I, I'm slowly rotating the probe. This is at two times speed. And uh, between each probing, I'm, of course, sterilizing and um, lubricating the probe. There we go. And again, much, much smaller compared to the Mojave. And I'm going to redo the, um, the probing with the pastel male, simply just to show you guys as you can see. <laughs> kind of hard to wrangle that's why I'm trying to cup the head of the animal in my hand that way they're a little more uh, now they don't move around as much there's Vaseline on the tip of that probe that's what's on there and as I'm probing you can really feel the probe actually make way into the tail or into the cavity and I pinch and you can see it's almost like halfway through my knuckle. It's pretty deep. 